Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back. My name is Fizz. Welcome back to Planet Zoo Information. And it's been a while. I know it's been a while, but it's been, there was a lot of stuff happening with E3 and also after E3 and also real life stuff with me. So now we are getting back into the Planet Zoo because everything is now relaxed. We've got a lot of things to go over, but first, let's talk about all the new screenshots that we haven't gone over yet. Have we? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back, my name is Fizz, we are going to take a look at all the screenshots that we haven't gone over, and my thoughts and opinion about the E3 things, because I honestly didn't talk too much about it, so I'm going to leave that at the end, but before we start, let's get started on looking at these, and also we have a new creature, which we'll go over that after this image, so let's take a look at this one, so this is from one of the videos that they showcased about uh, the demo of the playing, of actually playing the game, and this is the uh, little car that you'll be able to hold up to 12 to 14 people, I think it was, uh, that you can put around the track, it's basically going to be one of the rides you'll be able to have in your uh, zoo, which is be very, very, very cool, and as you can tell, Look at that! It's got some Planet Coaster um, assets by the little star glasses and stuff. It's got some uh, dice here. It looks pretty cool. Although, I'm kind of curious about the shot. I think that's a little kid driving. If I'm not, I'm not mistaken, that's a little kid driving. I'm a little bit concerned. Just a little bit concerned about that. But nonetheless... We'd have an absolute fantastic, beautiful shot of these people going in the giraffe exhibit. We have a, uh, a caretaker for the giraffes right here, a zoo uh, keeper right there. We also have a, uh, a jump box guy over there, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty fantastic, amazing, you know, little screenshot. Pretty cool. And also, like always, I will be putting the link description because these are. Uh, mostly from Twitter and some other places, so uh, I'll be putting the links where you can get these if you want them as your background for your desktop. Okay, so I figured we'd just go right into showcasing the newest screenshot that was from yesterday, the uh, Ringtail Lemur. Now, as you can tell, it looks fantastic. We already knew that these were confirmed animals coming, so we already knew we just had to wait for the actual showcase of it. And here we have the first official uh, picture image or of anything of it, and it it looks fantastic it looks gorgeous look at the hair texture i mean it's just a gorgeous little shot and i mean i mean look at that look at the detail on these guys and like i've said throughout this entire this game showcase about it coming uh you know waiting for this game this is probably the best you know ever zoo tycoon game we're ever gonna get that has the amount of detail being put into these animals is phenomenal and i'm super excited but look at the fur texture look at the actual model i mean just look at it Look at it! It looks amazing! Now, I if you don't remember, there used to be a show back on... Oh god, I don't even remember what channel it was. Like, PBS or something like that? They used to have this little guy uh, as its little mascot. Now, obviously, it was like puppet and stuff. Uh, but it was really cool. It was... Uh, I don't remember what the heck the show was called. But it was a pretty interesting show. And this is... I, I kind of remember seeing these guys. And also, they weren't... Now, it wasn't exactly this one. It was like a, some sort of other lemur. Uh, but it was a pretty close one. But nonetheless, this is fantastic. I cannot wait to see more. I can't wait to see some animation, sounds, and and everything about it. But uh, what do you guys think? Comments down below. Okay, so the next screenshot is actually from one of the videos. Uh, this is the crocodiles. As you can tell, they're just lounging in the rain. I, the only reason why I really wanted to showcase one is just to showcase these background area. Um, as you can tell, some of these people have... Uh, rain jackets and also umbrellas which is kind of interesting so you know just kind of cool i'm wondering if you'll be able to customize uh these for your park so if you wanted to have like a red one a blue one you know just some customization but nonetheless just a very cool interactive shot just showcasing a weather effect happening with the animals and as you can tell you can see the rain drops hitting the water and bouncing off and it just it's just a very cinematic very nice shot i just wanted to showcase that Looks absolutely gorgeous. Alright, so I made myself smaller because I wanted to showcase this amazing uh, imagery of a bunch of cheetahs. Look at all the cheetahs! I think there's a roughly about 9 or 10 of them in this shot. And there's just, it's just a big open field with uh, two little cars going by showcasing them. And uh, some food here and also a climbing thing here. And a uh, scratch post, technically that's what they were calling it, a scratch post. 
And uh, it's just the symmetry of these guys. I mean, look at them. Look at this. It's just absolutely fantastic and amazing. I mean, look at some of them are sleeping. A lot of them are over here. This one's like, hello. Ooh, tasty people in that car. Mmm, delicious. Mm -mm. And this one's going to do a nice little scratching and everything. But nonetheless, it's just a nice little screenshot of just showcasing it. And also, you can, you can see the little apes over there. Uh, so very nice. So yeah, anyways, that's that's it for this screenshot. Not much else to say, but uh, it's a very nice one Here we have is a nice fantastic shot of some giraffes Just lounging in the fields of this grassy area. We got a bunch of poop over here with this one But uh, I just want to showcase that because also there's another little little dude over here Springbok uh, doing something over there, probably just lounging in the shade, but I just wanted to showcase it's a nice, you know, nice little screenshot. Oh man, the babies. I just, I can't wait. I literally just can't wait to see, just to look at the animals for hours and just be like, wow, that one's, that one's just, what is, look at this one, look at that, and just having some fun and everything, and I'm, you know, I'm excited. I'm super excited. Nothing else to say about this. We've seen a lot of giraffes, but, uh, yeah. Another sweet, amazing screenshot. All right, so here's our first official, uh, I guess, screenshot of the Wildebeest. Uh, as you can tell, we got two of them in this shot. Very nice. And I would like to point out with these guys is that the horn texturing is a lot different from each other. This one's a lot lighter. It could be the shadowing, but I'm not too sure on that. It really just does look like it's different texturing because this one is definitely darker, but it could just be the shadowing of the picture. Nonetheless, we'll just have to speculate a little bit because as we can tell, uh, we figured out in a lot of other videos that uh, the cheetahs have different spot textures, the hyenas have different spot uh, pattern textures. So there's a lot of different, pr maybe procedurally generated texturing happening on animals so that way they're not all the same, which is going to be really cool because that means you'll be able to spot which one is, is which just by looking at it instead of like remembering, like clicking on it and looking at the info. Because, you know, obviously animals are all the same-ish, and depending on how they grow and everything, so having different patterns on the animals would be cool. So to have having different horns, and, or maybe even how they're colored-wise, would be kind of cool. But nonetheless, here's some wildebeest. Just chilling. Both of them look pretty cool, look fantastic. And, uh, yeah. That's it. I don't know what else to say. They're just, they're just wildebeest. Black wildebeest. All right, so that is the showcase of the uh, the imagery, and I wanted to quickly, briefly talk about all the things that they've been showcasing and talking about. So, uh, this is going to be a fantastic, amazing game, from my opinion. The amount of work and the effort and the the interviews, there's there's so much information that they've been talking about, and you could just see the amount of love and care that these this company is doing. I wish more companies were like this, uh, like Frontier, about how how passionate and how much uh, dedication they have put into this. You know, a lot of companies say that and then they showcase the game and it honestly really doesn't show uh, but this game absolutely truly shows because every time you see one of them talk about it it's just a spark in their eye it's just like magnificent it's, it's absolutely incredible so uh, a lot of stuff they were talking about when they were showcasing the demo at E3 I didn't I don't think I did a video actually show talking about this um, it's just very passionate about talking about how how they went to the zoos and how they actually studied, they talked to a lot of zookeepers and stuff and like it was just a lot of information taken in but they also just really liked studying the animals and everything and it was just fantastic, it was just a fantastic thing to work. And you know, uh, animals are quite, quite frankly one of the hardest things to do, you know, take care of and everything so, you know, I don't know, it, it's just pretty interesting and amazing for me. Uh, but nonetheless, I want to know what you guys think about this game. I know I've been covering it here and there, but I want to know what your honest opinion is and uh, what do you guys think? Um, there is going to be, uh, let me look at this real quick, there is going to be a beta, I'm pretty sure at the end of summer, because this game comes out uh, roughly, when's this game come out? The game comes out, um, I don't know, I don't actually remember, <laughs> I have no idea, I don't remember whenever it's coming up, but the game is uh, gonna have a beta sometime this year, and it's gonna be coming out this year also, so it's gonna be interesting to see uh, when 
and uh, where we are. And I'm hoping it'll be very soon because I cannot wait to dive into this. And uh, I think I've discovered what I'm going to do. A lot of you guys have commented about that I'm probably going to do a playthrough of the if there is a story ish kind of area. And then for live streaming, I will do a creative building. So, no, you know, keys unlocked and everything. So, we'll see on that. So, but yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, follow. I will be putting more information out very soon whenever we get any more information. And thank you guys so much for actually contributing into the comments with this game. Because it helps a lot and it keeps me forward. Because if you guys weren't interested, I probably wouldn't do any more videos. But you guys are super interested and uh, yeah. But last thing, what do you guys think of this guy? What do you guys think? Are you excited for this? I hope you are. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.